In this video, I'm going to show you a Wi-Fi driver update that you can use for your Steam Deck if you're running Windows 10 or Windows 11. So, on the Steam Deck website on Steam, you'll see that you're given a Wi-Fi driver for your Windows installation. And if we check Device Manager, and go to network adapter you'll see that we have the Realtek wireless driver but in my experience it's not as reliable as it should be sometimes the speed isn't quite there and I realized that there's these unlocked custom drivers that you can install you can find over here on the Steam Deck Windows Fix for Wi-Fi GitHub repository. If you go here, you'll see that there's upgraded custom drivers. They're the killer Wi-Fi drivers that you'll typically see on Alienware and high-end devices that give you more advanced features over the stock drivers that are included on the Steam website. So you'll scroll down to here open this up and you want to make sure that you use the latest drivers the old drivers don't have all of the new features that the most recent driver does have I've tested both and I'd say use this one if you want to download this make sure you have something to unzip it I've put this into this folder and unzipped it already so it'll be a 7-zip file when you unzip it it'll be a regular folder and this is what you're going to want to do to use these new uh, drivers. On this website, there's a link that you're going to want to click into. I'll include it in the YouTube video as well in the description. You're going to want to click this link right here. This is important in the installation process. These drivers are not signed properly, officially. So what you need to do is you need to run a couple commands or follow these steps right here. Um, I'll opt just to run these commands right here. Run this command here and then run the test signing mode. In my experience that's what's worked for me. Um, you're going to want to restart. Once you do you'll be in testing mode and then you can proceed with this next step. So you can right click here after running those commands. Again you'll run those commands in terminal first and restart. But after you've done that, you'll go to Device Manager. Then you're going to go to Network Adapters. You want to do Update Driver. Browse my computer. Let me pick from the list of available drivers on my computer. Then you're going to click Have Disk. You're going to browse. Then you're going to go find where you've unzipped those files. For me, it's in my downloads. Here we go. It's the unzip part. Now you're going to want to go to the driver folder. And then you're going to see this file right here. You're going to want to click and open it. Click OK. And then you'll see the killer Wi Fi 5 Extreme driver. I'm going to hit next. Now, if you've ran the codes that I've told you to do, and restarted the computer and gotten into test mode you should be able to then accept the installation so that way it can actually install if you don't get that prompt then there's a chance that it won't install as you can see I did those prerequisites so now we've installed the more upgraded more advanced driver and then we're gonna need to restart I'm going to click no for now, so that way it doesn't cut out of this video. Hit properties, and I'm going to show you what you're going to do next. So you're going to want to go to classroom mode, make sure that this is disabled. You want to go to roaming aggressiveness and set this to disable. And then for transmit power, you're going to set this to medium. And then on wireless mode, you're going to want to set this to 
802.11ac. I'm going to click OK. That's going to configure the driver options to the most optimal. And once you're done, you can restart, which I'm going to do now. That's going to cut out the video. But you will see an uh, increase in performance. I'll make sure to show a couple of befores and afters just so you can get an idea. But I believe it's definitely worth it in my experience. It's made connecting over Wi Fi on 5G a lot more reliable, especially when playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. So. Now, here's an example of the stock driver that Steam includes on their website for your Windows install. I can't stress enough how bad the lag spikes were at times connected to a 5G router modem while having gigabit internet and I'm only getting 357 megabits per second and 121 megabits per second using this test right here but as you're about to see in a moment using the upgraded drivers the custom killer Wi-Fi drivers that I've shown in the video I'm getting much better speeds keep in mind this is two different testing servers because I did this video in a rush and kind of wasn't really anticipating on even following through with this video, but this is the data that I have for you. Uh, the most important thing is that those lag spikes are gone, my ping is a lot lower, and my download and upload is a lot faster. So it's definitely worth a shot. You should definitely try this out if you have a Steam Deck and you're using Windows. You should definitely try these killer Wi-Fi 5 Extreme drivers.